I thought I'd pass along an idea that I've come up with uh, working with my little 12-ton hydraulic press here. Uh, you might find the same thing if you don't have a, you know, a big enough one for some job applications. There's a couple of things I've done to help modify it to make it easier for us to work with uh, a press this size. One of them is that there was no place to hang the handle or put the handle. So I've mounted mine on top here. I built a little ledge and I bolted it in. And you'll find that uh, having a place to put that handle when your hands are busy and you're trying to press out a bearing or hold something from slipping, uh, it's a nice feature to have. And the second thing that I found is on the bed here, it's a little bit narrow between here. And sometimes when I'm pressing a bearing, I just find this a little bit tight of a space. And so, you know, often you're going to put your wheel hub or your bearing hub off your car or truck on here. And then it's a little bit hard to set and, and deal with. Also, because of one application, I actually bent uh, the beam. So I turned it upside down and I've got my straight edge back. So to watch for that, so you don't go bending it up, because these aren't really heavy duty. So to help combat that, and rather staying flustered that my press was a little bit small and delicate, so to speak, I built um, an adapter. And you can see I've made it out of 4 inch channel iron here. And now this 4 inch is a lot thicker, so it's a little bit wider, and it's a little bit thicker on the edges here so it won't bend as easy and then I put these arms down here so that when it slides in they fit between here on the press and then that way when you go to raise or lower this bed this piece isn't going to be sliding around and falling off and hitting you on the feet so it just sits on top like that And I've allowed it to have some movement so that you always want to have a little bit of move ability there to line your pieces up. And you see how it, it'll hit when you go sideways. Oh, there, just a sec. There we go. And then you can lay your cage on top here. And you don't have to be doing something like this because this is what I was trying before without this piece on it. I was laying these um, uh, three quarter inch bars up and then trying to hold everything and press and, and you know do this and that. So build yourself an extension like this. This The original is three inch. I went to four. Uh, if you want you can even replace this whole piece with four inch. It's up to you. But it does serve for you know some applications too. This way it gives you the option of having two different size uh, beds to work with and of course you can take this and turn it sideways you know whatever you need to do or I suppose turn it on end whatever and just open up your options for working a little bit what I did here is I just put a weld on the edge and uh, you know got it to fit my press the way I want it, this here is four and a half inches by eight inches. And that's what I made. So if you need something for your press to help give you a few more options uh, when you're working and a little bit better cage control when you're trying to press bearings out, give this a try. I know I like it and I uh, wanted to pass that along. Cheers.